what's going on vinyl community welcome to another video with the record spinner in today's video i'm going to be doing another bootleg vinyl haul this time around it is called from ziggy stardust to the thin white duke which does indeed mean that all the bootlegs i'm going to be showing in this video are all by mr david bowie and um it's kind of funny because i am a huge david bowie fan um i buy all of the recent vinyl releases that his estate puts out along with the various box sets which uh cover certain periods um, and I even have a cube on the very top shelf of my record collection, which is completely devoted to Bowie uh, releases. Uh, but when it comes to the bootleg market, I've never really tapped into what lies with Bowie's material. I'm aware of the various shows that were recorded for, you know, broadcasts and have been bootlegged, and the occasional track or two uh, which was left off of an album or a release, but I never really went full throttle. And uh, with the recent Roland Records 25% off sale, like I mentioned during my Pink Floyd and uh, Kiss bootleg videos, I thought this would be an ideal time to check out what lies within the Bowie bootleg market. And um, I kind of picked these titles based off of the content and also reviews off of Discogs and music forums. And um, I'm very pleased with what I got my hands on. And one of them is an absolute must have for any early old school Bowie fan, and you'll have to find out which one that is later on in this video. So, enough of the chit chat, let's jump into what this video is all about. Now, the first one I'm gonna show you guys is one that I actually remember seeing quite frequently at my local record store, and um, not quite sure why I didn't give it any attention, and I kinda wish I did, because perhaps I would've snagged it sooner. This one is called Low Montro. Now the story with this one is that back in 2002 when uh, David was touring the Heathen album, uh, he and his band performed the Low album almost in its entirety. Uh, not sure if it was for the, the entire tour or for select performances, but they had a crack at doing a modern adaptation of this record. And um, the people that were there to witness that are very lucky because Low, I think, is one of the most important David Bowie albums in his catalog just due to the experimentation behind it, the direction that he took, um, and also, from a personal standpoint, it is my favorite David Bowie album. I just love that Berlin period that he was doing uh, with Tony Visconti and Brian Eno at the time. Now, like I said, he kind of did this almost in its entirety. Uh, he starts um, off with doing Warzawa, which usually comes after a new career in a new town, but I think it's a cool way to open it. Um, his bassist, uh, Gail Ann Dorsey, uh, does the vocals. Uh, she does a fantastic job. And then after that song, they rip right into Speed of Life, which usually opens up the album. And um, I say almost in its entirety because, like I said, they kind of jumbled with the track list. And it even says on the back uh, that Art Decade is on the uh, second side. They did not perform it live for some reason. Or maybe they did, it just doesn't appear on this. Not quite sure. Uh, now, this was recorded um, at the Montreux Jazz Festival that's held in Switzerland back in July of 2002. Now, I'm not quite sure when they started doing this, but um, the Montreux Jazz Festival would often record and film all of their artists for broadcasting. And so that is exactly what the source is with this particular bootleg. And it is absolutely fantastic sounding um i think if anything my minor criticism is that the guitar is a bit louder than david's vocals uh but honestly it does not take it away from the listening experience it's just absolutely great um there is video from this exact performance floating around on youtube and if, if you listen to it you can kind of get a general consensus on what it sounds like so if you're a fan of the low album and you know the sort of mid to late 70s period of Bowie, I think this will be a really nice way to witness one of his all-time classic albums. And the next one I'm going to showcase kind of resides in the same time frame, except the performance is actually from the respective time frame. This is just a year later after he had released um, the Low album, and that is this one here. This is called Transmission, and uh, this was his performance on the... Um, Bremen Music Latin uh, TV um, show, which uh, is shown in Germany. And uh, we have a major emphasis on the Heroes album, which had just come out around the time of this performance. Uh, you get Sense of Doubt, uh, Beauty and the Beast, and the title track Heroes. And of course, uh, we also get some stuff from Station to Station, like Stay and uh, TVC15. And he also does his rendition of Alabama Song, which was... I believe it was released as a single at the time, and it was uh, 
perform live during the Heroes tour, which was recorded for the stage album, and that song does appear on stage as well. And um, honestly, from just being a fan of this period of Bowie alone, I found this bootleg very enjoyable. And um, <clears throat> it's kind of the same deal with the Lo Montreux one. Um, it was recorded on audio and video, and the video content is up on YouTube. And honestly, the video quality is fantastic. I really hope that maybe the Bowie Camp will properly release it officially. Um, and this is just a great, great performance. And his, also, uh, his band is also excellent on this. You have... Adrian Ballou um, from King Crimson and Frank Zappa on guitar. Of course, you have Carlos Alomar, Dennis Davis, George Murray, Simon House on the electric violin. Uh, just absolutely great Berlin period Bowie stuff. Now, this one is the one that I think was, I guess you could say, the gem of this entire haul. And I found the most joy listening to this particular bootleg. This is one called The Trident Tapes. Now, this is a compilation which focuses on sort of space oddity up to pinups, which I guess you could say is like the golden period uh, from 69 to 73. And this essentially gathers up a bunch of tracks that were recorded at the time, were not released on any major album, have appeared as various B-sides and compilations and such, but I think this is just a great collection of just all those offcuts from that classic period. Um, on side one, is it's kind of more so like, you know, more or less unknown stuff. Like you have Tired of My Life, Shadow Man, which I believe was re-recorded for the unreleased toy album from 2001. How Lucky You Are, um, I've Got Lightning, which I believe was one of the Ryko Disc bonus tracks from the early 90s. Looking for a friend, uh, Rupert the Riley, which is not exactly a Bowie song, but he does appear on the track. And then we get to Side 2, and Side 2, I think, is the just the absolute best part of this bootleg. We have a track called Bombers, which was recorded for Hunky Dory. Originally, it was going to be in place where um, Feel Your Heart is, because you hear the beginning bit of Andy Warhol at the end of the track. And to be honest, they really should have put Bombers on Hunky Dory instead of Feel Your Heart. I don't hate Feel Your Heart, but um, I, Bombers is just that ultimate glam rock Bowie sound that everyone just knows and loves him for from the early albums. I think that just, it would have sealed the deal completely. Um, Amsterdam, which was a B-side to the, I think it was the Sorrow single from Pinups. Uh, Velvet Goldmine, which was recorded during Ziggy Stardust. Um, I think it was a B-side on the Space Oddity re-release single from 76. Uh, Round and Round, I believe that was a Ziggy period as well. Holy Holy, um, which is a re-recording of a single that Bowie had released back in 1970. But the version on here features the Spiders from Mars. And then, of course, all the young dudes. Um, this is just a great, great collection of early Bowie stuff. Like I said, if you're a fan of Ziggy era Bowie, this is one that you must have. Absolutely fantastic. And we're on to the last one. This is kind of a short haul, I guess you could say. Uh, this is um, kind of an interesting sort of bridge between Ziggy, Aladdin Sane, and Diamond Dogs. And this is called the 1984 Show get it it's like a play on words with 1984 sort of that was kind of what bowie's next project was going to be after he had put the ziggy character to sleep uh but he couldn't acquire the rights to george o orwell's 1984 book so then he went on to do uh diamond dogs and the rest is history but i think this is kind of an interesting snapshot of what bowie was doing at the time um there is a major emphasis of the pinups uh covers album so you get things like Sorrow, Everything's Alright, I Can't Explain, um, you also get a rendition of Space Oddity on here, and you also have uh, Time and the Gene Genie, and to also kind of showcase what Bowie was working on at the time, there is the uh, 1984 slash Dodo uh, track, which was intended for the 1984 project, but uh, he ended up just keeping the 1984 bit, and that ended up uh, appearing on the um, Diamond Dogs album. And then we have a uh, rendition of I Got You Babe with uh, Marianne Faithful on guest vocals. And there's also a bonus cut of uh, Drive-In Saturday from the um, the Russell Hardy pop show. So um, 
kind of an interesting, you know, just time frame piece in terms of what Bowie was doing after Ziggy was pretty much said and done after that Hammersmith Odeon show and uh, what he was doing in between, you know, Aladdin Sane and uh, Diamond Dog. So really interesting uh, bootleg to have in the collection and also sounds quite good to my ears. It's in mono and um, the quality is not bad. Um, I know there's a lot of outtakes from this uh, particular uh, show that he did. This was filmed at the Marquee Club and was shown on the BBC and Midnight Special here in the U.S. So um, it's kind of interesting. Maybe we'll see an official release down the road from the Bowie camp. Who knows? I kind of fear that all the stuff that I just showed you guys is going to be um, officially released by the Bowie camp because lately they have just been kind of giving us bucketfuls of archival releases, especially... Um, this past year with the Space Oddity 50th Anniversary uh, release and the various vinyl releases that they did with the demos and the big conversation piece box set. Who knows? But until then, these bootlegs are going to do me just well. So there you guys go. That is my From Ziggy Stardust to the Thin White Duke David Bowie bootleg vinyl haul. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead, give it a like, and subscribe to the channel. See you guys in the next video, and most importantly... Keep the record spinning.